Oh, thank goodness. I'm so glad you're home. <coughs> you confounded machine. You never know when it's gonna up and blow. Yes. I don't suppose you would remember me. Yes, you're Mrs. Brisby. And I'm sorry about your husband's death. Now, if you'd excuse me. Mr. Ages! Great Jupiter woman, what do you want? Mr. Ages, I know you don't like visitors, but this is an emergency. Please. <laughs> Madam, that is an emergency. Oh, Mr. Ages, my son Timothy is so sick. Timmy? The one with the spider bite? Uh, oh, just give him some pep sisser No! And... No, he's sick with a fever. Uh, well, I suppose I could fix up something. Oh, thank you. Uh, follow me, but don't touch anything. Understand? Oh, I want to... I do appreciate Just how high is his fever? He's burning hot to the touch. Mm, yes. He's soaking wet with perspiration. Yes. And there's a raspy sound when he breathes. A raspy sound, you say? Uh, does he have a chill? Yes, he does. Have you wrapped him in a blanket? Yes. Now step inside, but keep your hands to yourself. I'm right in the middle of something uh, very important. I understand. Oh, do you? Oh, look at this mess. Oh, shoot, shoot, go on. <clears throat> Your son has pneumonia. Pneumonia? It's not uncommon, but you can die from it. Oh, please, dear God, no. Your son must stay in bed. Bundle him up. Yes. Not to go outside. But how long uh, must... Three weeks. Uh, he cannot be moved for at least three weeks. But moving day is nearly here. You asked my advice, and I gave it to you. I'm sorry. He must stay in bed. Now mix this, uh, this, this powder in a broth and make him drink it. It'll bring down the fever. Oh, bless you, sir. And bless yourself. You'll need it. Now, you must excuse me. Uh, you know the way out. Oh, uh, of course. Thank you once again. Oh, shoo, shoo, shoo. Go on now. Go on. Thank you so much. 